Now to a story that's made international headlines. We're going to take action. To protect the American people. After more than four decades of operation, the U.S. government shut down Houston's Chinese consulate last summer. And I have to say the amount of information we got out of that consulate is extraordinary. Houston area Congressman Michael McCall is chair of the recently created China Task Force. I think you're going to see a lot of prosecutions coming out of it because they weren't able to destroy uh, all the documents or, or the hard drives. What specifically are the Chinese targeting in terms of information from the United States? They are targeting, uh, I would say, the Houston area particularly. McCall says Houston is a target because of all the innovation coming out of NASA, the oil and gas industry, and the Texas Medical Center. Every time that we lose a patent or we lose a technology and it goes back to China, we lose jobs. FBI Supervisory Special Agent Don Lachey says one of the biggest threats is economic espionage. I don't want our city and our country to be at risk because we're allowing intellectual property theft to happen. The FBI reports it's opening a China-related counterintelligence intelligence case every 10 hours. FBI officials also say half of all active counterintelligence investigations around the country are related to China. These have evidence or allegations linking the Chinese Communist Party back to some sort of crime that's occurring. Recent cases involve a Texas A&M professor, Zindong Zhang, accused of secretly collaborating with the Chinese government while doing research at NASA. Liberty County resident Robert Erford is also accused of selling trade secrets from the oil field product company where he worked to a Chinese competitor. We tried twice to speak with Erford at his apartment. He is not here right now. Does the average person have to be concerned about something like this? Well, they do, sir. Lachey says so many people in our area are connected to either oil and gas, NASA, or the Med Center, they have to consider someone may be looking over their shoulder. Lachey says the FBI actually now has offices in the medical center helping researchers safeguard their work and helping them spot a possible spy. We know that there's a lot of federal funded dollars that go into the research there, and we know that that is an area that is definitely being targeted. The closure of the Chinese consulate in Houston will have an impact on trade, according to UH downtown professor and U.S.-China relations expert Peter Lee. I think it has done a lot of damages. So it's in the uh, interest of both countries to have the consulate to be reopened uh, in the near future. Lee says he understands the need to safeguard secrets, but argues closing the consulate punishes thousands of people who depend on its services for legitimate work and trade. These people are not spies, and they're making contribution not just to, you know, you know, the exchange programs, but also to the overall welfare of the two countries. Congressman Michael McCall says a decision on reopening the Houston consulate will not likely come until after the election is settled. FBI officials did want to make clear, though, their concern is not with the Chinese people, it's China's government. On click2houston.com, we have the links to the information the FBI is sharing with the public about this issue, as well as court documents giving more details on those cases we mentioned. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Robert.